If your teacher has given you a Google Slides as an assignment in Google Classroom and you have a mobile device, an iPad, an iPhone, or an Android phone at that, and you need to complete this assignment, these are the following steps you're going to have to take in order to be able to edit that assignment, the Google Slides, and return it to your teacher via Google Classroom. I hope you guys find this useful. So two things you wanna make sure you have to be able to accomplish this is have your Google Classroom app and Google Slides app. Now, if you do not have those two on your iPad or your iPhone, you can easily go to the App Store and download it there. So I'm gonna to go to class, my Google Classroom. I do have a lot because I am a teacher, but you might have five, six, depending on how many classes you have. I'm gonna to go to one where I'm a student and I'm a student on this one. I'm gonna to go to classwork. This is where you would go as well. So classwork, let's assume my teacher just assigned this one right here. I'm gonna click on it. And now I'm, I'm wondering where do I actually access my assignment? You gotta go down here, check out this little arrow here. I'm gonna click on it and there's my Google Slides presentation that she wants me to edit. So I'm gonna click there Notice I can't do anything. I'm trying, but I can't. You have to do this, guys. You got to click this button right here so that it opens up under your Google Slides app. All right, so make sure you click that button right there and it automatically sends it over to your Google Slides. And now I can click there. Notice I have those edit toolbars here. I can click through the presentation. You can turn this around under landscape mode as well. And you can already go ahead and start working on it. So notice my keyboard pops up and I can continue working on it. Once you've already done everything that you need to complete your assignment, you're gonna notice that there is no turn in button because you do not turn it in in the Google Slides presentation because it's automatically saving it for you. There is no turn in button here. This is what you're gonna do next. Double click your home button, go back to your classroom. You can close that one because you don't need that. And all you have to do next, because it's already been saved, your changes have been saved, is click on turn in. And then it's going to uh, turn it in for you and now you're done. I hope that helped guys.